Okay. Um, we are going to play some Warriors Legend of Blue Dragon translation. Wonderful game here. If you've not played it, it's great, actually. Um, effects on stereo, new, 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 button layup. That's all good. Let's keep it like that. And I am so sorry I didn't stream earlier today. I have been not feeling good. I've been getting, like, literally the worst sleep I think I've ever gotten in my life. Um, I can't sleep more than two hours at a time. And if I hit a time where I am done and I just can't deal anymore, then I gotta sleep. And I don't really have a choice. I wish I could, uh, not. But that's how it is right now. And right about the time I started to stream earlier, I, um... Ooh. Um, I started to set up what I was going to stream, and I got kind of frustrated with everything, and because uh, I was feeling exhausted, and decided to just kind of crap out. So, you know, that sucks, but it's what I have to deal with. Chapter 1, The Omen. That's me. That's a donkey. That's my sword. And I can't do much else. It's like inventory. My status. If you've never played this one, this one's really awesome. It's kind of like a... Think of Legend of Zelda, except instead of having uh, real-time combat, it has turn-based combat. And it's kind of like a roguelike, but it's uh, side-scrolling instead of top-down, which is interesting. Ooh, a huge bird just flew by, did it? A big purple one? I was here in the house, so I didn't see it. Oh, it was giant. Monstrous sort of bird, was it? Well, anyway, you've forgotten what day it is, haven't you? So you remembered? That's right. Today's your birthday. Ooh, happy birthday. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Why, you're already 15 years old. It's been 10 years since Dad passed away. I'm happy to see how strong you've grown since then. We have Mr. Ito to thank for that. Wavundaba. We need to get some fish from Miss Okino, by the way. She said Mr. Ito went fishing earlier. Got it. There's something written on the wall. Press the B button if you're in a hurry. Dad wrote that message on the wall a long time ago. I can't s say I know what it's supposed to mean, though. Are you kidding? I used the hell out of it already. Uh, that sword's our memento of Dad. You don't need it while you're training with Mr. Ito, do you? I I'd like it, though. Okay, well, let's go train. Puppy dog. Hey, you. Um, will you not talk to me? No? Okay. Uh, you're 15 years old now. You should go to the Bronze Bell and tell the sister goddess of the mountains. What? You're saying I've never told you about the Bronze Bell before? The Bronze Bell page pays homage to the goddess of the mountains. Through the bronze bell, we receive the blessing of the goddess. The bell on our island isn't the only one. They can be found in other lands as well. The bronze bell is by the northern bridge. You should go and see it at least once. That's where I saved my game if I remember properly. Um, I'm the only person who lives in this house. See the weapons hanging on the wall like that bow there or the spears? I used to be able to wield all them back when I was younger. Well, nice. Okay. Who do I get the skull? Good morning, Thorn. Did you see my dog by any chance? He always follows you around. I'm sorry if it bothers you. He only does it because he likes you. Weren't you going to practice today? 
Mr. Ito should be sailing in any minute now. Oh, uh, some ointment. Nice. Good when my skin's dry. If you're looking for Mr. Ito, he went out fishing. I promised Naomi I'd give her some of the fish he caught. Well, let's go look for some fish. Mm. Something's not right. I couldn't catch any fish out there. Could monsters be behind it somehow? The number of fish just keeps dropping day after day. Huh? I didn't see you coming, Thorn. You should have called out to me. Well, it's about time to start your training. I suppose you're ready. I guess I'm ready. Oh, give me some water there. The most important thing in any battle is knowing what you're up against. It's true whether you're fighting against a monster or a straw dummy. Now focus, Thorn. Concentrate and give it all you got. Uh, select. Name Straw Dummy. Speed zero. It's straw wrapped around a wooden pole. Mr. Ito put it together last night. Well, neat. Now what do I do? I think you know what you have to do now. Start pounding that straw dummy with your wooden sword. Done. 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 That's it. Got it. What? You took down that straw dummy with only five strikes? Hmm. You're definitely getting stronger. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. You already know how to handle your sword, but... You still got quite, quite, a, quite a lot to learn now, don't forget. You're still inexperienced. You don't even know how to fend off enemy attacks. I'll teach you how to fend off enemy attacks starting tomorrow, got it? Got it. Oh shit, I can't even chop those with my sword. With my wimpy wooden sword. So let's go home. Time for tomorrow. Uh, nobody's home. There's something written on the wall. Press the B button if you're in it. I know that, dummy. Uh, take the sword. Ooh, Thorn took his dad's memento sword. Look at it, it's so shiny. He replaced the wooden sword that, that he was carrying with this one. Yay! Nobody's home. Oh, come on. I got me a real bush cutting sword. Hey, doggy. You're the best. And just like Zelda, I think you can get like little treasures in these randomly. If I'm remembering correctly. Even though I'm not getting any. Oh, there we go. You found some small ointment. It restores a quarter of your health. Uh, don't forget to use your mind's eye. Signed, Ito. Thank you, Ito. Ooh. A voice came out of nowhere. Sister goddess of the mountains, shall I make a record for you? Jace. Sister Goddess of the Mountains, it is done. Please continue on your journey. Will do. Oh, shush. Uh, sign. East, Monster Warding Gate. West, Village of the Gods. Well, let's go west. I don't have any truck with any monster gate. <laughs> Brushing the bushes away. Caution, Spectre for it. Oh, shit, maybe I should have went the other way. You found a small ointment. Oh, nice. 
Doop, doop, doop. Who's here? Hey, old lady. Hey, I guess that one, right? You can find gems while cutting grass sometimes. The gems are pretty handy to have since they can be traded for some useful items. You can trade them for ointment at the watchtower in the village of the goddess. Cool. Hey, baby. Woman, if you're here, look for Nami. She went to the village of the gods. There's something that concerns me more, Thorn. Did you see a big purple bird? I saw it flying over the forest a short while ago. Um, yeah, I know. Oh, God dang it. Shut up. I'm sorry, I don't have any fish to give you. Shut up. Okay. Doop, doop. Ah! What? Into the specter forest for me. What gives? Oh, come on. Would you stop already? Oh no, my little, my little companion getting bullied over there. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Here, boop. You defeated the something. Oh. What's going on? Thorn remembered his training. Remembering his training. You can focus your energy and release it through your sword. Channel that energy into your sword. Channeling your the channeling that energy into your sword will make it stronger. You you'll be able to unleash a special move. Well, let's do it. Okay. Channel that energy, Thorn. Uh, y button. Y button. Y button. Y button. Y button. Once you've channeled the energy, swing your sword. Boom, boom. The more energy you channel into it, the stronger the attack. Performing this special move also targets a wider range. It'll even hit monsters that are flying overhead. However, the more energy you channel, the longer it'll take for you to recover. Think carefully about when you channel whenever there, whatever, whenever there are monsters nearby. Okay. My little ball kitty. Little monster. Thanks for saving me. Let me tell you, getting transformed into a monster was bad enough. First there was that. And then I wound up getting attacked by those monsters, too. I think I might have chosen the absolute worst path in life. Anyway, what's your name? Oh, wait. It's good manners for me to introduce myself first, huh? I used to be a girl. A human one. I mean, and yes, I do have a name. Used to be a girl. Um... How about, um, Delilah? Yeah, that sounds good. And it fills up the thing all the way. Delilah is a nice name, isn't it? And your name is what? Thorn? Well, it's a pleasure, Thorn. You know what? We'd better get out of this forest. There's still more monsters lurking around, and it's kind of creepy in here, too. Hey, I have an idea. I'll carry you out of the forest. Check this out. You see how I can fly? I'll just whisk you right out of here. It should be no problem at all. <sighs> you can count on me. It's about time we said goodbye to this forest. All right, Thorn. Grab onto my tail. X. Oh. Oof, you're heavier than you look. Which way do you want to go? Let me know already. This way? I can't take it anymore. You're going to rip my tail off. Let go of me. Hurry. You look so easy to carry, but two or three steps is my limit. I'll be able to help you out a little bit, though. You can call me over when you need me. 
If you're looking up when you call me, I'll lift you a little higher. Oh. Cute. And out we go. What an interesting mechanic. Oh, I can't get past that one. Well, shit. What's up here? The Village of the Gods. Hi there, Thorn. Oh, Thorn, you're hurt. Am I? Oh, shit, I hadn't realized. Oh, my. You've been hurt, haven't you? You can rest here a while. Oh, thank you. You felt a lot better. Uh, monsters are popping up in Spectre Forest again. I've been seeing a lot of monsters lately. Shup. What's down here? Oh, that's where I came from, huh? Okay. You're 15 now, aren't you, Thorn? What's that weird-looking creature you got there? Is that your birthday present? Weird-looking creature, huh? That sounds even worse than calling me a monster. Um, no Nami. Is it possible to jump off a cliff? Just don't jump off any high ones. You'd break your legs. Fair enough. Okay. What do we have here? Hey, Thorn, so today's your 15th birthday. That must be why Nami came here to trade for a big cut of meat. If you're here looking for Nami, she headed home quite a while ago. I told her I'd be willing to escort her home, but she refused my offer. I wonder what she was so worried about. It seems to me like she was in a hurry. Okay. Anything else? Does not look like it. Oh, my allergies are bugging the shit out of me today. Hey, Thorn. You keeping up with your sword practice? Ointment is a must-have whenever you get hurt during battles. I'll trade you five gems for some of mine. How about it? You don't have a single gem on you. I guess we can't make a trade. Come again once you got at least five gems. Okay. Well, shit. Okay, well, let's get the rock out of here and go home. What's this? Looks like a sealed hole. I'm wrong. Oh, hi. Are you here to see my grandpa? No. Good luck with your sword training, Thorn. I hope you become as good with it as your dad was. My, my. What a cute little companion you have there. He thinks I'm cute. I think I like this guy. Are you a monster or are you a human? I'm a human, of course. A monster put a spell on me, transforming me in my current body. I was just eating my lunch, minding my own business, when what do you know? Bam. That alone would be bad enough. Then I got picked up by this huge bird, carried me over the ocean, and then it landed here. It was flying for so long when I got to the forest, I made a break for it. You flew over the sea, huh? Hmm. Sounds like you must have come from a, from Motoshima Island. I suspect a monster put some sort of hex on you. They say only the one who casts a hex can break it. Of course, you might also turn human again if you defeat the caster. Okay. My grandpa's on the other side. Oh, shut up, I know that. You don't need to uh, tease me about it or anything. I'm looking for some gems. Guess I should go back and visit my ma. 
Mama. Periwinkle Blue. Get me some gems. Oh, there's another bell up there. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at the gems. Monk. Thank you. Thank you, goddess of the hill. Look at my little monster with its little tail wagging back and forth. Go find me, Ma. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh no. The mountain's on fire there, Thorn. Huh? That's your house. Oh no. That's bad. That's real bad. Run, Forest, run! Somebody collapses in the house. Somebody's collapsed in the house, Thorn. Huh? Oh, bird. That's it. That's the creature that brought me here. What is it doing? Putting out the fire? Barbecuing itself? I don't know. That's pretty farkin' weird. We have to go after it. Come on, hurry! She's gonna get away! Well, at least shut that damn dog up. This world was made by the gods of the sea. Um, okay. People, beasts, and animals lived in harmony and abundance. But that all changed one day. A thought had occurred to the brother god of the sea. The land was rich with greenery and life. Why is there no sound? The sea, however, was quiet, dark, and lonely. <laughs> I want a land that that lush, thought the brother god of the sea. The god began to dwell on this thought, there in the ocean depths. He dwelled on it constantly for years. Eventually, the brother god of the sea changed into a wicked god. This wicked god twisted the tower that held up the heavens into something evil. The tower then began to spawn monsters there to remake the world to his liking. Yes, that happened way back when you were little, Thorn. Uh, I'm kind of little now. You want to know what happens next? The sun's already set, though. I'll tell you the rest later. Tomorrow, okay? Okay. Ah, Thorn. You regain consciousness, Thorn. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? You were sleeping for a whole day. I thought you might never wake up. They took my ma. Why did Nami have to get snatched away by that monster anyway? The old man said he'd be waiting for you. He said to tell you to go to the bridge once you've woke up. If you're still in pain, you can sleep here a while longer, though. Mr. Ito had a scary look on his face. He said there's something he needs to talk to you about. He also told me to give you this. What? Ooh. I have my armband. Okay. Said he would eventually come to you when you needed it, Thorn. Thank you. You're going to look for your sister, right? Yes. Oh, that was my sister, not my ma. Okay. Yeah, let's travel as a team. Old man's waiting for me. Let's go. Can't do anything with this boat, huh? Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I wish I could get some decent sleep. I really wish I could get some decent sleep. Okay, let's see. No, nope, want that gem. Yay, I can get me some more ointment. Always save your game. Always save the game. Okay, will do. Thank you, Bell. Yeah, I got the armband. Okay. Okay. That armband produces a shield of light from your soul. Only a chosen few can do it. A chosen few, not chosen few. People like you and your father. I could never do it, but your father used that armband back when he was a boy. Let's leave it at that, though. It's time for your final training now. Yay. Okay. Focus your spirit and release. Uh, B? Is that that one? Not quite. You'll have to try again. Release your shield. There. That's how it's done. You really are the son of the blue dragon. The armband's soul shield is the only way to ward off enemy attacks. Try to deflect my attack, Thorn. Are you ready to give it a try? Let's do it. The shield will vanish after it deflects an attack. It will also vanish if you swing your sword. It vanishes because your concentration is diverted by your attack. Hmm. I can sense something. Use your mind's eye, Thorn. You understand now, don't you? Your mind's eye will show you the general location of faraway enemies. You can see an indicator that there's an enemy behind me, can't you? Alright. You can attack monsters using the light of your armband. The armband's light can be fired at will to strike your foes down. Create another light shield now, Thorn. Okay. Release the light shield, Thorn. You can fire the shield by doing the same thing you did to make it appear. Give it a try. Well done. But keep in mind, the light shield's only half as strong as your sword. Firing the shield also wears away at your soul. Don't forget that. Okay. So, when I could potentially have no soul... Edo, uh, the power of your armband grows along with your soul. There's still so much you need to learn. But with Nami kidnapped, you can't afford to take your time. Eh? Yeah, okay. You need to read the stone tablets that can be found across the land. They're written by the four warriors, including your father. They'll offer you more advice about how to proceed with your battles. You can do this, Thorn. I know that you'll return victorious. Okay. Well, thanks, Pops. Huh. I guess we should go the other way. Should I grab ointment? How do I get soul back? That's a good question. Deserves a good answer. Yes, I'm keeping up with my sword practice. Five gems, sure. Yes. Oh shit. I hit the wrong button. Yes. Yes. Sure. Give me one more. I don't have anything else to spend this shit on. Okay. See you later, dude. Later. Gator. Hater. 
and we're gone. So acrobatic. Oh, and that is a break. I will be back shortly. Thank you for joining me, and um, uh, look forward to seeing you the rest of the playthrough. <laughs>